My name is Antonio Lain. I'm the founder of Caviar Labs. With a green screen, it's really easy to create an image background in your next video conference. And, and you can make it a little bit more credible by playing a movie in a loop. The next step is to have a, a web app in full screen mode. And with Caviar Yes, it's very simple to create apps that interact with local Bluetooth devices. So for example, here, I'm showing you my heart in real time using a Bluetooth ECG monitor called the Healthy Pi. But we can do more than that. We can also change the local environment and show you what happened. So for example, here, I have a, a Bluetooth bulb pointing at my face that is controlled by this WebXR application. So when we do changes in the virtual world, the, the color changes are consistent in the physical world too. But the real advantage of having a web app background is that it enables a new architecture. So today what you will do is take the output from the camera apply a green filter to it, take the output from the web app, combine them both, and create a new stream that now you are going to broadcast to all your clients. But a web app has a URL, so instead you could ship the URL to all your clients and they could run the web app locally. And of course they will also have to take the video from the camera with the transparency added and merge it with the output of the web app. So what is the big deal of this new architecture? The idea is that now you can have hundreds or even thousands of these Bluetooth devices and synchronize their actions with the presentation. And what this allows you to do is, for example, to propagate touch across the internet or even smell. And if your viewers have sensors attached to their bodies, now you can get real-time feedback of how things are going. Or even change the lights at their homes to warn them that the coffee break is over. And of course, each of these streams can be fully customized. So your name appears in the middle of the slide the examples relate to things that you are familiar with and the slides could use your own language. And of course, the customization doesn't have to be only based on your input, but could be based on the input of others. Because KVJS is all about creating collaborative apps. For example, I want to show you this amazing web app written by the Scalidro team. I just had to modify the built-in collaboration features to take advantage of KVJS. So I can invite others to help me with the whiteboard by just simply emailing a URL. And when they click on the link, they run the same web app locally, but attached to the same whiteboard instance. And I have done the same with my iPad and also so that I can use a pencil to actually draw. And of course, now I can also use a proper keyboard in my laptop and I have defined a special macro so that it will get replaced in every single client by the actual session name to show you how we can also customize each of these streams. So what is the value of adding 
a CalGIS backend to an application like Scalidraw. First, you get the scalability. Each client is represented in the cloud with a cloud assistant. And cloud assistants interact with each other using low latency networks and high level communication primitives, like public subscribe. What this means is that now communication can scale to hundreds of Node.js processes. And what this also means is that now your application could have hundreds of thousands of concurrent clients. The second thing that you gain is security. The URL of a web app has always embedded an authentication token that is short-lived and also has a very limited scope. And cloud assistants interact with each other using the trusted bus that enforces some authorization policy for every single request. Policy in KVJS can be described using dynamic groups. And the membership of these groups can also be managed by a team. The third thing that you gain is reliability. Before externalizing any state changes, a cloud assistant always checkpoints in a Redis backend. What this means is, if there is a failure, when we recover the state, the system will always be in a state that is the one that we all expected. The fourth thing that we achieve is autonomous behavior. With autonomous behavior, it's very simple to, for example, replay drawings with accurate timings. And now I can pretend that I can draw. KVGS is really three things. It's an open source framework for creating these cloud assistants. It's a very efficient platform to run them and by combining these two things, we have created the KVS Cloud. The KVS Cloud is a hybrid between a traditional hosting platform and an app store. The way it works is that using our tools, you can create a container with your app and deploy it in the KVS Cloud. And the idea is that we will flex resources based on the number of subscribed customers to your app. We will also manage payment, take a cut for the infrastructure and just give you the rest. So the end result is that you will never see an infrastructure bill. The only thing you will see is just profit. There's much more to learn about KVGS in our website. And you can also sign up for the beta version of the KVS Cloud in this URL. And we would love to hear from you. Thanks for listening.